Hey everybody, it's your gaming fella Gordon here with the fifth Survivor Exit interview. Where does the time go? Like uh, like dust in the wind, like sands through the hourglass. Uh, before we get things underway, a couple quick notes. First of all, uh, the comment section is open, so feel free to comment on last night's episode, on this interview. Uh, the only rules we have are be nice to each other, be nice to the contestant, and be nice to me. Uh, if, you're an X if you're an Xfinity uh, customer and you have X1, just say Survivor into your Xfinity voice remote. That'll take you to a page that lets you watch the episode, set your DVR, and also watch all of these interviews. There's a little row below uh, where all the interviews go immediately after they're posted onto YouTube. Um, also, if you have any questions or comments for me, uh, Twitter is the best way to do that. So uh, at Gordon Holmes is the best way to uh, reach out with questions, comments, compliments. Uh, and also, uh, finally, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, like the video and subscribe to this channel. It helps us out a lot. It helps out the algorithm, whatever that is. Um, so without any further ado, uh, let's see what Swathi has to say about uh, last night's episode. All right, Swathi, welcome to my hangout. Thank you, thank you. What's, what's going on in the background there? That's lovely. Oh, so basically this wall looks super empty and horrible. Um, so I found the cheapest thing on Amazon Prime that looks decently okay. And it's it's a sun. It's like a rising sun with rays and- Oh, that's uh, lovely. I gotta ask though, what's with this Ica tribe? Why can't they get along? I genuinely don't know. From day one, it was just very, very chaotic. Yeah, like uh, I've got, I've got, so Dre is working with Roxroy, but she wants him gone. And then you and Tori and Drea seem to have this like three-way thing going, but like, and meanwhile, Roman is on the outside kind of like poking all of you, trying to, to get you into each other's throats. Um, what was it day to day? Um, who got along, who didn't get along? Like, or was it constantly scheming 24 um, seven? I would say like people whose personalities initially clicked were like Romeo and Drea. I would say me and Ross clicked, me and Tori clicked. Uh, I think Zach clicked with like, Oh, basically everybody. And, and if we hadn't gone to tribal first, I think Zach definitely would have made it really far in the game. But I think um, there it was scheming constantly, like between everybody all the time. Now they painted it that Drea had come to you and Tori and was like, hey, I got this advantage. And that seemed to be what, what set you off to want to target her. What is it about, like an extra vote is, a, is an advantage, but it's not like an idol. It's not, uh, you know, something yeah. too powerful. What was it about that moment that, that kind of uh, made you want to go for her? It wasn't really that moment um, necessarily. That moment was like the precipice for inciting something. And it wasn't even necessarily like, oh, I definitely want to vote for Drea. I really just wanted to sow the foundation for like anti-Drea sentiment, just because it felt like Drea had so much power over the tribe. Like it felt like Tori really wanted to work with Drea. Romeo really wanted to work with Drea. Like Rox, Roy and Drea had a thing. Like it just felt like whatever Drea would say would be what happened. Um, and so that was really independent of the extra vote advantage. And I think like Dre is a really cool person. It's just that like my perception in the game was that she was sort of just like pointing her finger at who she wanted gone and it was changing. Like sometimes it was Rock's Roy. Sometimes it was like, oh, like let's get out Tori. Sometimes it was like, oh, you and Tori should be in this, you and Tori should be in this three person alliance. So I just, it felt very insecure. Like, okay, like what if she just decides we need to be strong and so, she votes me out, you know. Now it felt like Tori went to Roxroy a little too early or not in a manner that you were comfortable with. Um, when you found out that she had told Roxroy about Drea's advantage, uh, was that where the, you decided it was time for Tori or, or had something happened before then? No, that was when I was like, oh, I need to cut ties with this person like immediately because um, basically, I mean, I didn't even find out because Rox told me Tori had gone to him. I found out because Rox told Drea that Tori had gone to him because Rox wanted Tori out, which is which was totally fine. I was trying to work with both of them, um, but they they just really seemed not want to work with each other, and I think I, I sort of got caught up in that a little bit. Is there something to in a tribe full of people that are playing it cool? be the schemer and in a tribe of schemers, maybe be the person being cool. Is this, do you think this is a case of that? Yeah, a case of that. I will say, I think everybody was playing as hard as I was. I think maybe um, it was just like a tribal at a specific inconvenient instance for me of like, literally this had all gone down like in the evening and then the next morning we lose the challenge. 
So it was sort of just like, that is what had just happened. Whereas things were progressing so quickly on the Eco Drive, it was almost like a new, you know what I mean? Like a new thing was happening every day. So I think part of it was a timing thing. I think part of it was just like, people didn't expect it from me necessarily. So mm. I think maybe it like felt more steamy or betrayal like um, when they found out that I was doing it too, because, th because they just, they just assumed I wasn't. The shot in the dark is having much like your background it's stay in the sun. Uh, <laughs> three out of three out of four already. Um, what, what encouraged you to make that move knowing, you know, it is a one in six. Uh, what, what, what made you know that th this felt like the time to do it? Well, I was pretty confident that um, they were voting for me. Mm -hmm. I was pretty confident they were voting for me. Even if I'd been unsure, it just sort of feels like uh, the shot in the dark only really has any power when you're, you're very confident about how votes are going. Mm -hmm. um, and like, I feel like that is harder to do as the game moves forward. But here it was like very clear, like, okay, me and Rob, so are gonna vote together and the other three are gonna vote together. So it really doesn't matter if I play my shot or not. Mm -hmm. um, so I might as well play my shot and, and, you know, try and make it another day, like rather than trying to hold on to the stakes. The shot in the dark doesn't do you any good at Ponderosa. No, it does not. Not at all. <laughs> uh, we do a, a word association here to get to know your tribe mates a little bit better. I'll give you someone's name. Give me the first word, a couple words that pops in your head. Heck, a whole soliloquy if you're feeling like it. Uh, and uh, let's start off with uh, Roxroy. Yeah. Uh, difficult, caring. Um, I would say difficult and caring are the first two words that pop to mind. Okay, let's try Zach. Uh, funny, smart, caring, awesome. Just like one of the best people around. Okay. Uh, Drea? Um, I would say competent. Um, Romeo? Not Romeo as a person, but Romeo on the island felt sneaky to me. Okay. And uh, let's finish off with Tori. Emotional um, and not and in both positive and negative ways, right? Um, okay. like, like able to perceive emotions really well, but also sometimes like acting on emotions, I think. Okay. And again, I can't comment on these people as people, just more on the island. Sure. Um, to, to, I need someone to explain Tori to me. I feel like as soon as somebody kind of like reaches out a hand to work with her, she does something to kind of slap it away. Like what was going on with her out there? Like, was she somebody that just, yeah, well, yeah well, like, I don't even know how to ask the question. Like just help me get better explained, uh, better understand Tori. Tori knew she was on the bottom and therefore like yes some of the things she did feel like they were like not maybe the most like logical way to proceed but also like as somebody who made really irrational decisions on that island like I totally get that like when your back is against the wall it just feels very like okay like anything like doesn't matter if like you damage relationship, like relationship, whatever. Just like let's like just try and be here tomorrow. I think so. I have a lot of empathy for that. Um, I would say that, like the best player on our tribe is probably like Zach. <laughs> like, like Zach was like like mm. just like awesome. Like no no no. I I really do think it's just like because he's physically weaker, and then we got we went to trial first. Like yeah. So uh, you're going to immunity challenges, and Marianne's saying her catchphrase. Uh, which at, at this point, um, you don't know what she's talking about. Was there any discussion back at camp as to what that was all about with the bunny eating the dinner out of a mailbox? No, we, we really did not register it at all, like at all. Uh, in, in, hi in, in hindsight, yeah. when, you, when you watched 41, was it like, oh, that must be what's going on there? Actually, I have not yet watched 41. I sort of just read this plot summary of it. What you and the reason, the reason for that is I just really wanted the first survivor I watched after being on it to be me. This is, I was just like, it's very, sounds very like egotistical. It's just like, I like, I was excited to watch our season and like, I will go back and watch 41 after our season airs. But like, I, yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to see us. Let this be a lesson, nobody spoil. 41 for Swathi, keep it. <laughs> no, no, I, I know what happened. Zip it up, <laughs> zip it up. Um, so, you know, with, with the new, you know, probes talking about monsters and, you know, the shortened days, you weren't quite probably sure when a merge was gonna happen. Had there been conversations uh, before you were voted out about like, you know, uh, strategies heading into the merge? 
Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't think there were excessively that because I don't think anybody on Ika really wanted to stay like Ika strong. strong. That would like I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know how that changed after I left. Like maybe the tribe became super unified, but like I know that like while I was there, um, it was it was very a very chaotic fractured tribe. So I think like we I mean we talked about wanting to stay Ika strong, but like I don't think we talked about it with the seriousness that um maybe would have because I think everybody on the tribe had somebody else that they wanted gone like they were just like I don't want this person gone you know what I mean so well when you hear Jonathan talk about like we're four so strong did that spark any conversation back at camp I mean I think that's probably part of why I got voted out just because the sentiment in Ika's camp was just like let's we need to vote out somebody who it feels like is dividing the camp and I would I would disagree to this day that that was me but uh, I mean, clearly a majority, <laughs> a majority found, found the fall alive in me. Now, um, Roxroy said that you would describe yourself as shy. Was that gameplay or do you actually consider yourself to be shy? No, I don't consider myself shy at all, but it was more just like, I was really nervous the first few days. Mm. So I, I describe myself that way because that's how I felt. Um, which is weird because that's not normally how I am as a person. I'm, I'm genu generally much better at like introducing myself to people and um, getting to know people really quickly. I think it's just like in that scenario, I was so nervous and then there were all these like big personalities and I just spent basically like all my time sort of just like sitting there listening. Um, so I mean, I, I was being shy. Because when he said that, way. when he when he said that, that was hot off the heels of you being like, "Listen up, I'm not gonna let this tribal go down." Without, <laughs> like so, I was like, "Oh, is this a thing where he she said she was shy and now she is not being shy and that he was he was calling you out?" But uh, yeah, it was very interesting. No, no, no. He, was, he, was, he was being sweet. He was being okay. Very sweet. Okay. So um, you know, I know this is a super super busy day for you. Um, so b before I, I send you, I know you do a ton of interviews, but of, of all the interview you've done. Uh, I'm clearly your number one, right? Oh, absolutely. Have you learned nothing <laughs> from, are you, you say everybody's your number one? Come on. Is it, and, it, and if it is, is it because I didn't bring up the Boston Robin fourth place thing? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just like, I think it was confusing. I don't even know to this day who it was that I was thinking of that was voted out for fourth place and then did well, or like if that person, and ever existed but then like Rob's sister Nino got voted out fourth place like once and then, like somehow like boss I don't I don't know I don't know what jumble of facts created that sentence but. I hate to be that guy but I think uh I think uh Rob's sister Nino was voted out third I think he was like fourth boot right. fourth person but out though in your defense you had just been through a very traumatic experience like I I don't know if I'd be able like first of all I'm not the best person at calling out all, old survivor facts but like you had just been voted out of the game so maybe everybody should give you a break on that one I I fully agree also just like I'm not like a like a like a memorizing facts person like I've seen some I've seen, I've seen like some of the seasons of the show so many times like okay like the one where like Amber and Rob like fell in love, you know what I mean? Like I, I like bought that on DVD. I was like, that's so cute. I watched that season over and over again, but like I couldn't Here. tell you like what order people got voted out, you know? I'm, I'm the same way. And, and that's the worst being like someone whose gig is literally being like, that's, that's what Jeff Probst <laughs> autographed a hat. Um, la di da. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat as you. So like in your defense, you were under a lot of stress. And as your number one, I absolutely have your back in that sense. So if anybody gives you grief over that, you let me know and I'll, I'll let them know. I'll they let them know. appreciate it. All right, well, Swapi, thank you so much for your time. I, I enjoyed watching the last, it, I was kind of bummed out to see you go. It's one of those things where when the vote was coming down, it's like, I know where this is heading and I wish it wasn't heading that way, but that's what number one to do, to look out for each other. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate <laughs> it. All right, well, have a fantastic day. You too, lovely to meet you, Gordon. Aww.